think one of the most important things for me that I scream about all the time, not angry, but, you know, I'm just frustrated, you know, which is around credentials, right? I get people keep talking about backups and immutable backups, which it's important. We want to have immutable backups. But the big thing that we're talking about in here with is at the end of the day, you can have a complex and sophisticated preventative system, right? Cybersecurity, you've got the walls up. You can have an elegant backup solution and even a mutable backup solution, right? But if the credentials are exposed or accessible, you know, that's like having a great castle with great walls and great moat, but handing over the key, right? So that's what I, I think I get frustrated about at times is like, oh, we've got great software. Okay, but where are the credentials, right? Because you also, in, in sort of it, people weave in along with immutable, the sort of discussion of air gap backups, right? And so you want to be thinking about protecting the data and making it so it can be, but also the credentials from being overwritten. So I think a lot of people are confused as to what that means, right? Things are not immutable if you can get into them and delete them. I think the other piece is people may say, well, oh, hey, I've got a, and this is a sort of more specific example on network, I've got a, an immutable backup system or I've got a, an advanced backup system, right? But it's on the network. And Art and I talked about this earlier today is I'm always looking at what are the crumbs, you know, hands on Gretel, like what are the crumbs that d draw the line back to those systems? If they're on network, they can be traversed, they can be traced. You might have a DR site, but if there's a VPN tunnel, you should, you know, hackers will follow that path and find that system. So I think a lot of people need to also make sure those immutable backups are not on network, period. You can have immutable backups on network, but you need to have another set right, that are somewhere else and actually be testing that stuff. We talk about, you know, you need to do patching. You need to do pen testing on a regular occasions, but people are not saying, well, am I verifying my immutable backups, right? I'm a, can I do, do those types of restores? But I think the other key thing, which is, you know, a policy we have in our business is we never share the credentials to the immutable backups that we manage. I mean, it's like, sorry, we're not giving them to you. Not if the CEO asks, right? We will do the restoration if need to be. And that's part of our service is actually recovering if need be with the immutable backups. But the credentials, which we've all talked about here, are the holy grail, right? That's the thing that is the most sacred.